Skunk Peckerman. Cool. This is the first time in history when a superhero has three superpowers. But you're not the only one with superpowers, Arnie. For example, a sword master from Japan, Isao Machi, is able to cut a bullet traveling at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Slavisha Pajkic from Serbia can literally handle 20,000 volts of electricity. And he can also cook food by running electric current through his body. Wim Hof from the Netherlands is able to withstand below zero temperatures for hours and even climb Mount Everest in his underpants. What about you, Arnold? Wow, congratulations! I see you've gained the ability to hammer nails with your skull, build dams, and even breed superflies on your own body. But seriously, if you think your superpowers are ludicrous, check out DC Comics' Dog Welder, whose power is to weld dogs to his enemies. Zeitgeist from the X-Men, after an all-night drinking binge, discovered he had the ability to puke acid. Did you know Batman's net worth is $98 billion? Seems like being a superhero can be a very lucrative business. And the very first copy of the Superman comic book was sold at auction for three and a half million dollars. And judging by the number of requests on Google, Spider-Man is now more popular than the president of the United United States. Arnold, I know this is very cool, but still, the main job of a superhero is not to bask in glory, but to fight for good. Hey guys, the world is in danger. The world is doomed without you. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Seems like our planet is about to be destroyed. Or maybe there's another savior. Could it be Arnold? Excellent! Autopilot hasn't been installed yet, so you're gonna have to fly manually and become a hero. Oh, wow, Arnold, you survived. Pretty much like all the other lowest forms of life, like microbes. But now there is a small issue with water. After a meteor 100 kilometers in diameter hit the Earth, the shockwave destroyed almost all life within a radius of 100,000 square kilometers. There was a huge release of sulfur, and dust and ash from all the destruction rose into the upper atmosphere and blocked access from the sun's mm. rays. You must be hungry. It's good that you kept your space food in the rocket. There wasn't any food. That's terrible, because there's no food left on Earth. It's good that you're in a spacesuit, since it's minus 50 degrees outside, and you don't want to walk here for very long. Watch out! I forgot to add that cockroaches have also survived, and they've mutated just a wee little bit. You better run to infinity and beyond! You really now are in the actual Wild West. And they call it wild for a reason, buddy. And nowhere is this moniker embodied more than in Fort Griffin, Texas. The fort was originally designed to protect ranchers and farmers who live nearby. The city quickly became a popular stopover for cowboys and criminals, and law enforcement was virtually nil. As a result, the city became even more dangerous, and it looks like you're now the sheriff of this city. Sorry, is it just me or are sheriffs not very popular in this little old town? Arnold. Really? The first thing you decided to do as head honcho around here was update your wardrobe? Mm. Why so surprised? Oh. The average life expectancy in the Wild West was about 35 years. And for sheriffs, it was decreasing exponentially. Here comes your first good deed, Sheriff. What? You thought only cowboys carried guns. In reality, most cowboys were like <gasps> shepherds driving cattle. They were pretty much harmless folk. But people with weapons were called gunfighters, and they earned their living with guns. The most legendary shooter in the whole Wild West was Frenzy Bill Longley. 
According to various sources, he killed up to 85 people and had a $1,000 bounty on his head. Luckily, people didn't have such good aim back then. By the way, it was the era of the Wild West that gave birth to the culture of owning guns in America. Arnold, listen. Hearing that kind of music is definitely not good. In westerns, it usually means that bandits have entered town and are probably going to do something bad like rob a bank. It's Dirty Harry, One-Eared Tom, and Handsome Bill. Hmm, why were they given such obvious nicknames back then? Interesting solution, Arnold. You blew up the bank so the bandits can't rob it. You're a natural-born strategic genius. No, Arnold, you forgot about the train carrying the gold. According to statistics, there were 241 train robberies during the time of the crazy Wild West. Quite good statistics. You forgot one of the sheriff's main rules. Your revolver must always be in perfect working order. Adios, Arnold, and please quit this dang job. You just ain't cut out for it, partner. Congratulations, Arnold. You just volunteered for the bulletproof skin test. Wow! You still alive, Superman? So, a successful test. Hey, Arnie, these guys seem pretty happy with the outcome, but they want to up the ante. A grenade launcher fires a grenade from its barrel at a speed of 120 meters per second, and it can pierce 50 centimeters of steel armor. Now we need something more serious. For example, skin made from fullerene. This is the strongest material known to science, an allotrope of carbon, and it's 200 times stronger than the strongest steel. Congratulations, Arnie. Your fullerene skin can withstand a rocket-propelled grenade, which, of course, cannot be said about your brain. The shockwave has turned it into jiggly jelly. But luckily, you're in a super-secret lab. That's right, Arnold. Perfect time to get away. After all, now automatic weapons can't hurt you. In fact, you can't be strangled. And even getting hit by a car won't hurt you. But your strength, Arnie, you little wimp, that hasn't changed a bit. But instead, as I can see, now you've got nerves of steel. But the problem is, Arnold, now you have to hide for the rest of your life so that no one knows that you've got super skin. Wait, what? I see, Arnie. You'll do anything for likes. Well, each his own. Are you waiting for your friends? Hmm. My friends don't act like that. Arnold, what have you done this time? Oh, not you, but rather your dangerous aunt. After she walked free last time, she got up to her old nefarious yeah. habits again. And now the FBI are taking you for 24 hours because, well, you know her best. There are about 15,000 agents working for the FBI with 56 regional offices. Their main training facility is located in Quantico, Virginia. Virginia. More than a hundred special agents are at the facility at any given time, ready to train new agents. They'll also teach our Arnold. An FBI agent has to be prepared for anything, but not for this. How can that even possibly come in handy, Arnold? FBI agents received the right to carry weapons in 1934, a whole 26 years after their founding. Nowadays, marksmanship training is absolutely necessary and one of the most important courses. And Arnold seems to be doing just fine. Having proved his abilities at all stages of training, our Arnold will become an FBI agent for 24 hours. Not bad company, Arnie. Perhaps our Arnold will try his hand at the cyber department created in 2002. That's where they have the kind of cutting edge technology that will help Arnold in his search. Have you actually found what you're looking for already, Arnold? Come on, buck up, Arnold. I knew I shouldn't have expected much. After all, your belly always comes first. Thanks to a tip-off that was received by, of course, not Arnold, the FBI managed to find out where his aunt's accomplice lives, the infamous biker known as Buffalo Joe. And now a special operation is being carried out. Here's our suspect. Everybody get ready. Oh, Come on, Arnold. It's always something with you. Arnold, come on. Your colleagues need help. How are you going to stop him like that? What? It can't 
B. Somehow, your idiocy serves you well. Here's your chance to interrogate a prisoner. Well, Arnold, to get answers, you have to ask questions. And they say silence is golden. Oh, you have an idea, do you? You gonna give him a lesson on good behavior? Oh, God, what a treacherous move. Arnold, I don't recognize you. I didn't expect you to be able to break this mountain of muscles like he was a little baby boy. Well, Arnold, you're darn close to capturing your aunt. I see you think you're already a real FBI agent, Arnold, but you're still acting like a typical cop. Hey, how's about we continue with the search for your auntie? Let's go take a peek into the FBI archives. Over 5,000 individual strands of hair are stored here as evidence. There are even case files for Charlie Chaplin and John Lennon. We need to find your aunt's case so we can get a warrant to wiretap her butt. Now, we can listen in on your aunt, just like with Pablo Escobar. And according to the latest information, she's just ordered herself a pizza. Arnold, this is your chance. You can go undercover. For your safety, you'll have a hidden microphone on you. And your task is to surreptitiously hide a bug in her office. The time is now. Hop to it, Arnold. Now, everything depends on you. It's really important that you try to act as naturally as possible. Ay, ay, ay! What a doorbell! Arnie, go into her house already. This is your chance. Go! Go! Come on, Arnold. This is your mission. Go and put the bug in her office. Great. Now slowly and carefully sneak closer. Yikes! We seem to have a bit of a problem, Arnold. Uh, quick! Come up with something! Oh no. Arnold, get out! Run! Before it's too late! Yee! She's a little more dangerous than I thought. Arnie, hold on. Somebody's going to rescue you for sure. Uh-oh. The jig is up, buddy. Now she's going to myrtleize you without batting an eyelash. Huh? <laughs> Arnold, look. It's you, but from the future. Wait, Arnold, he doesn't need your clothes. He needs your help. That's why you're going to the year 2050. Oh dear, that's not the bright future people are thinking about. Indeed, by 2050, the Earth is suffering from global warming. The planet's population has grown to over 10 billion people. This overpopulation has caused a shortage of fresh water. Can you imagine? The planet is on the brink of destruction and they're fighting over Pepsi. All right, back to our mission. In 2050, everyone has cybernetic implants. And since enemy drones can detect implants at a distance of 10 kilometers, you, Arnold, are the most undetectable and invulnerable person in 2050. You are the one who will help change the course of the war. Soldiers assemble. And so, Arnold, the enemy has been spotted in the north, but the way is blocked by electromagnetic guns. Instead of projectiles, they fire electrical impulses, and the impulse speed exceeds 7,000 kilometers an hour. We have to find shelter. Quick, go down into the subway. You escape the guns, Arnold, but there are other problems now. Drones detected by scanners. And don't worry, Arnold. Remember, these drones won't even notice you. You just need to rush past them and turn off the power. Well done, Arnold. The future sure wasn't ready for the likes of you. Keep going, buddy. You're almost there. It's time to get to the surface. Arnold, there are a lot of enemies around. Get into the exosuit. With it, you can become a super soldier and travel long distances without getting tired. And all physical activity becomes 20 times easier than it was before. You're unstoppable now, Arnold. Now you just need to figure out the controls. Huh? Arnold, no! You just killed yourself from the future. Okay, well, no time to grieve. Your enemies are coming. You have a flamethrower. Use it! 
Oh, yeah. No one ever thought that one day this would happen in Hollywood. Arnold, look out! A rocket! Arnold! Arnold! Are you okay? Arnold, you were seriously injured. So the doctors gave you some upgrades. Almost as good as new, but there is a problem. Now we need a soldier without implants, and you need to travel back in time and find him. And here's your volunteer. Get him into the portal. Hmm, deja vu. And he seems to have everything under control. But it's not that difficult to be the life of the party when you're paying for everyone. Arnold, look in your inventory. Maybe there's something you can make a bottle out of. For this, you'll need glass, potassium iodide. Hey, be careful with that thing. Villagers often go nuts when they see such an emerald. They don't seem to be very friendly. Quickly, craft something for protection. The first weapon appeared around 400,000 BC. Later, humans invented the first bow and arrow. Then, in 4,000 BC, horseback riders appeared. And the most popular weapon, the sword, appeared around 1,000 BC. Arnold you need a more serious weapon. The villagers are using all of their strength. Defense ain't gonna win this. You need a sword. A sword is a work of art. Like the Japanese giant sword, Zanbato. A month of active use of this sword is equivalent to a year in the gym. It measures 78 inches long and weighs 33 pounds. But in the modern world, it can only be seen in anime. You show them, Arnold. It's not the steel that wins in battle, but character. Yes. That's more like it. Now you're cooking with gas. It's been so many years, Arnold. You've changed a lot since we first met. This sword will never let you down. So could a diamond sword exist in reality? Diamond is very strong. A diamond sword would be half the weight of a regular one, and it would be really sharp. If one carat goes for $9,000, and our sword has 3,500 carats, it would cost $32 billion. Now you definitely can't get out. Looks like the eight kings have decided to unite and fight for the same side for the first time. To succeed here, you need to draw on the wisdom of the greatest warriors, those who said you don't need a sword to win. Arnold, that was a very wise decision. Wow, Arnold, congratulations! You died and went to heaven. Arnold, get in line and wait for St. Peter to let you in. Ooh, how cool is this? Hey, wow, look, is that John Lennon? No, wait, it's just Jesus. Here, there's even a wall of paintings of God made by great historical artists. Here, there's e in ancient times, people believed that God was oh. terrifying and bloodthirsty. For example, Aztecs constantly sacrificed people to their god, Huitzilopochtli, to make it rain. The ancient Greek gods personified human qualities or natural phenomena. Unfortunately, Arnie, in the Christian paradise, unlike the Muslim one, you don't get 72 virgins. But hey, look, right there, it's John Lennon. Or is that Jesus again? And here he is. He has many names. The Creator, Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh, God. Oh, shh, he's sleeping. You probably shouldn't mess with his stuff, Arnie. Arnold, what are you thinking? You can't go in there. This is the control center for the whole world. Don't touch anything, Arnold. Oh, this is not good. Over the past few centuries, religious belief in the world has been dropping. And God is the most popular being in the world, has a lot of haters. You dare play God, Arnold. Man is simply too greedy for this role. There are lots of examples from history, and they all ended pretty badly. Arnold, stop! This ain't a joke, buddy. Great. Now everything's gone haywire. Fanatical faith has always led to wars. And now a nuclear crusade has begun. Arnold, stop before it's too late. Are you even listening to me? Mother of God, it looks like we're now in the 13th century. And we're here during the Holy Inquisition. What an awesome trip. The main mission of the Inquisition was fighting the heretics. 
Hey, what did Arnold even do? Ooh, I think I get it now. They mistook your phone for a weapon of black magic. The Inquisition didn't get along so well with progress. When Giordano Bruno proved that the Earth revolves around the sun, it completely contradicted Catholic ideas. Arnold, you're out of luck. In those days, all redheads were suspected of having ties with the devil. Relax. At first, they'll just question you. Take a seat and calm down. The chairs here are made of iron, specifically so that they can be heated. Confessions were usually obtained through torture. You need to give up heresy, Arnold. During the time of the Inquisition, a lot of heathen rituals were mistaken for black magic. They tried to convert heathens to Catholicism. Come on, Arnold, embrace Catholicism and you'll be free. It's true the Inquisition sometimes let those truly repentant go free. Holy baloney, what now? It looks like someone reported you. People often accused others of heresy in order to get rid of them. I don't know if you can endure any more of these tortures, Arnold. Meet the Spanish boot, the heretic's fork, and the Judas cradle. Arnold, I heavily advise you to confess about everything. Okay, by signing this, you agree that you're a necromancer, a magician, and a gnome. The positive thing is that the tortures are over, and the Inquisition, in fact, did not execute people. After confessing, the offender was sentenced in a state court. Calm down, Arnie. No one will burn you. According to the law, they'll just chop your head off. Wow, it looks like everyone is scared of your ability to release flames from your hands. It seems to be powerful magic. Mother of God, it's a dang dinosaur! Oh, Arnold, you scared me! I see you decided to visit the Paleo History Museum. It's really cool here. Even Orochimaru from Naruto is here. I heard he knows secrets of resurrection. He can bring dead things back to life. What the heck? No. He's using it on the dinosaurs. Run, you dang fools. Dinosaurs are very dangerous, whether it's herbivores, carnivores, or even those radical dinosaurs. They're insanely angry. And you would be too if you hadn't eaten in 66 million years. Furthermore, the dinosaurs are getting even angrier now that they see what happened to their descendants over the course of evolution. All the world's leaders have declared martial law. Alas, very little is really known about the true behavior of dinosaurs. It seems the best solution they've come up with is to hire a rabid turkey specialist. Ye attack! Dinosaurs reigned on Earth for 160 million years. But the fall of a meteorite changed the course of evolution and allowed for the development of our ancestors' mammals. Now, only the strongest will survive. But what in tarnation's going on now? Wait. I think I get it. Over the last 66 million years, the Earth's climate has gotten colder, and the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has changed. It looks like dinosaurs can't live here anymore and are going to die out once again. Hmm, what to do? In theory, we could build a Jurassic Park. We'll feed them and artificially maintain the climate. This place could be the most profitable tourist spot in the world. And we'll also be a global supplier of eggs and manure, dino poop. But then again, an ordinary dinosaur eats a ton of grass a day or more than 100 kilograms of meat. More than likely, the dinosaurs will eat all the fauna in the park and then probably start eating each other until they die out again. No matter how you slice it, the dinosaurs just aren't going to be able to live in our time. Do you really want to save them, Arnie? The only option is to send the dinosaurs back to the past, to their perfect world. Time to say goodbye, Arnie. At least there, you know they're going to be better off. You opened a dimensional portal, and the universe threw you into a GTA 5 game. Welcome to Los Santos. 
Are you ready to become the richest and most powerful man in the city? Get in the car and let's go. Meet Michael, one of the three main characters of the game. What about the first mission? Show us your shooting skills, Arnie. So, more to the point, it's no secret that Los Santos is totally criminal in a very dangerous city. To begin with, I propose we change your image. Otherwise, you look like a Minecraft fan. A couple of brutal tattoos certainly wouldn't hurt. Now, you're a real gangster ready to rob a bank. Plan is this. You quietly enter the building, shoot the armored glass out, blow up the vault door, and take all the gold. Now let's blow this taco stand. To run faster, in GTA, you don't need to run, but to jump. Did you know that the real weight of the weapons and gold that you now have is over half a ton? But in GTA, it doesn't matter. They're right behind you. You need to hide. And doing this is very simple. You just need to hide in a quiet place, and after a while, they'll forget about you. Wow, look! You've done really well, Arnold. Now you can safely spend your money on parties, expensive suits, buy up all the real estate in the city, and wake up to the most beautiful view from your window. But this gets pretty boring pretty fast. Did you forget? You're a real gangster now, Arnie. Oh, yeah! The extreme car chase! It's really cool! Move, Arnold! Or you get shot! An airplane? That's like if you know how to fly in GTA. Hmm, it seems you're out of luck, Arnold. Somehow you've ended up in a modified GTA with a giant megalodon. All right, you're wasted, Arnold. Mission failed. Wait, Arnold, you survived! What is this? New GTA! So, you decided to do a good deed. All of this just for the donuts. Oh, you bastard. Well, no worries. Today, you'll have a chance to do a really good deed. The whole planet is infected with diarrhea virus from China. But I made your blood the only existing vaccine. There are 7 billion people in the world, and everyone is hunting for you. 195 countries have posted your photo on all possible media. You're in all of the police databases, and not only the world's police, but all the best special forces in the world are after you. MI6, British Intelligence, which has been working around the clock for 100 years straight. ISI, Pakistan's Interdepartmental Intelligence Agency, with the largest residency in the world, 10,000 agents. The CIA. Watch out, Arnie. They torture people. The Canadian Intelligence Service, with a search budget of over $507 million. Do you really think you can hide from all of them? You're on every single smartphone in social media. You become more popular than Greta Thunberg. I'm sure she envies you now. After all, you can actually help save humanity. Just give them your blood, all the way down to the last drop. Elite special forces from all countries are already coming for you. U.S. Navy SEALs, the French National Gendarmerie, Chinese Snow Leopards. But of course, even a random student could catch you. Big Brother is watching you. In New York City alone, there are about 20,000 surveillance cameras. They take photos, compare the distance between the main features on your face, nose, eyes, mouth. Data is converted into a person's numeric code, a face print, and verified with the database. In addition, on the dark net, anyone can buy image databases from video cameras of cafes, hospitals, shopping centers, even near the main FBI headquarters, meaning they can find out where you were just five minutes ago. Catch this. These glasses with built-in infrared LEDs will help oh. you to hide your face from the cameras. For them, hey. your face will look like a glowing blind spot. Wait a bit. You forgot the battery. This isn't enough. You need a disguise. It was a bad idea to eat this many donuts. They provoked an excessive accumulation of gases. Unleash the winds! 
you look good. But search dogs will find you by the smell of butyric acid, the odorous component of your sweat. It won't help that just one gram of sweat is enough for the dog to smell you on the roof of that 10-story building or at a depth of 15 feet under concrete. In the United States alone, there are nearly 7 million drones. Stop waving and take this special weapon against drones. This gun fires a wide stream of electromagnetic emissions so you don't have to aim. It's enough for the interference stream to cover the drone and then it'll lose contact with its base and lose control. What have you done? Get lost in the crowd, bone brain! Well, you have to kiss.